What is the Kako Demon in Doom? There have been many creatures in the Doom franchise, and while most of them are bipedal, the Kako Demon is one of the few monsters to have a very different design. The original version appeared to have a red body in the form of a head and a set of horns at the top. Its large mouth was blue inside, filled with many sharp teeth, but also accompanied with a twisted, evil grin, and a single green eye was used for sight. It also appears to have no visible limbs. Its body would float around, and when it finds a target, it would let out a loud hissing sound. It would either bite at close range, or spit plasma balls from a distance. Now, despite its body being somewhat large, its weight could not withstand the impact from the player's weapons. This resulted in the Kako Demon being pushed back slowly when it takes damage. The name Kako Demon comes from the Greek word Kako Daimon, which means evil spirit. But in Latin, the word Kako can mean to poop or defecate, which could explain why it has two holes in the back of its body. The Kako Demon does have a similar design to the Beholder in the Dungeons & Dragons franchise. Its final design was inspired by another creature of the same franchise, the Astral Dreadnought. There was a book called Manual of Planes, which was an expansion to Dungeons & Dragons. Only the head was used to create the Kako Demon. If you place their heads side by side, you can see the similarities. This monster was not always called the Kako Demon. The Doom novels would call the Kako Demons by a different name. They were simply known as pumpkins. Perhaps just to add some humor to the story, or because of the shape of their bodies. The Doom comic book also did not call them Kako Demons. They were described as big-mouthed floating thingies. Another creature in the Doom franchise that shared a similar design to the Kako Demon was the Pain Elemental. It still had a large round body with a single eye, but it also had two small arms and different horns. They differed in design, color, and attack methods. The Pain Elemental would spawn lost souls to attack the player, and upon its death, it would merely just explode. In the Doom 64 video game, the Kako Demon's design was changed to look similar to the original Pain Elemental. Its skin was now brown in color, and it also had a single yellow eye in its head, but it also had two arms and broken chains. Meanwhile, the Pain Elemental would also get a new design. Its skin color was now pink, and it had a single green eye in its head, just like the original Kako Demon. They also removed the arms and replaced them with two large mouths. This would allow it to spawn more lost souls more frequently. The Kako Demon would undergo another design change in Doom 3. The skin color was now different. Along with having a wider mouth, multiple green eyes, there was also some tentacles on its lower body. The top part of its head had an exposed brain, and it also flew across the map quickly, unlike the original Kako Demon that just floated. This version of the Kako Demon was originally going to spit lost souls as well. It looked similar to the Pain Elemental from Doom 2, so it's possible it could have been a hybrid of two monsters at some point. Now, in the Doom game from 2016, the Kako Demon's design was reverted to look like the original in some way, but with some minor changes. The top part of its body had red armor plates. They also realigned the formation of the teeth on its mouth. The lower part had a bulge, which could have been a larger stomach. It also had four stunted limbs underneath its body, but they appeared to be useless. The energy ball was also changed. It now had the properties of bile. It would impair the victim's vision and slow them down for a short time. A new attack was also added to this game in the form of a tongue snare. The tongue would latch onto a target and pull them in to get eaten. But one of the mysteries about the Kako Demon was, how is it able to fly with no limbs? The UAC had a file on this creature, and they concluded that it was psionic in nature, and their desire to feed has overtook what little intelligence they had. The word Kako Demon has been spotted in things like paintings, a book by Lev Grosman, a boulder in Squamish, Canada, and the second album Legion from the band Dayside contains a song called Satan Spawn the Kako Diamond. But the first time the word Kako Demon was used 
was in a play written by Shakespeare, and this was in 1398. So that covers the Kako Demon in Doom. I've also covered other topics in the Doom franchise, so check them out if you want. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it, and subscribe with notifications turned on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.